So today I'm going to tell you how we use NMR crystallography to determine the supramolecular structure of a layered hybrid perovskite. Hybrid perovskite photovoltaics offer high efficiencies at low cost, but they suffer from poor stability. One of the ways of improving stability is to add layers of hydrophobic organic cations, which then form layered perovskites, such as the Rodison popper phases. In these phases, we have n layers of inorganic, in this case, lead iodide octahedra, spaced by organic layers, in this case, phenylethyl ammonium, perfluorophenylethyl ammonium, or a one-to-one -one mixture of the two. It's the supramolecular structure of this organic spacer layer which dictates the properties, but is challenging to experimentally determine. To do this, we use solid state NMR, um, proton to carbon spectra, which are sensitive to the, these carbons, fluorine to carbon spectra, which are sensitive to these carbons, as well as the fluorine spectra. From the bottom row, I'm showing the organic space of salts. When we just mix them together, we get minor changes in the spectrum. However, when we then form the layered perovskites in the top half of this panel, we see distinct chemical shifts, which indicate that the structure has changed on forming the perovskite. Furthermore, in the fluorine to carbon spectra of the mixed space of perovskites, we see these signals which arise from the protonated molecule. This means that the protonated molecule must be near fluorines and the spaces must be intimately mixed. However, for the individual space of molecules, the protonated and the fluorinated, we see the same shifts as for the mixed spacer, the perovskites. This suggests that they have the same structure. In order to reconcile these two points, we propose that the nanoscale phase segregation of protonated regions, fluorinated regions, but on the nanoscale so that we still get the atomic contact. To determine the structure, we use NMR crystallography. So we took trial structures from molecular dynamics, which were then relaxed with density functional theory. For the mixed layered perovskites, we considered five different tilings of the protonated fluorinated molecules, which are shown here. We then calculated the shifts for each trial structure with density functional theory, as well as for a phase segregated structure where the shifts were taken from the pure uh, layered perovskite structures. When we compare these to experiment, we see that the phase segregated structure has a lower error in both the carbon and the fluorine than any of the other structures. Bayesian analysis indicates that the segregated structure matches experiment with 99.9% .9 probability. To conclude, we've shown the nanoscale segregated supermolecular structure of these mixed space of layered perovskites via NMR crystallography. I'd like to thank the co-authors and collaborators, funding, and the rest of the IMC group, and thank you for listening.